Welcome to the Kosafa Show with Mark Gleason and Nick Say. Welcome to our latest episode of the Kasafa Show as we highlight a fantastic new partnership between Kasafa and the International Soccer Science and Performance Federation that will allow coaches at all levels in the region to further their knowledge. We'll also hear from victorious Zambia coach Moses Citroni as he shares his thoughts on winning the Hollywood's Bets Kasafa Cup. And we'll get the views of beaten coach Leslie Notzi, who took Losutu oh so close to their maiden title. But first, we chat to Adam Owen, who is head of content and partnerships at the International Soccer Science and Performance Federation. They have put together a Kasafa diploma in soccer science that can be a game changer for aspiring or experienced coaches in the Southern African region. Tell us a little bit about the International Soccer Science and Performance Federation and what exactly it is that you do. Yeah, so basically the, the organization is a is a, a large number of, of faculty members that are experts from all around the world working in different clubs, countries, national associations and and, um, and universities. But every single faculty member with uh, with ISSPF is, is a high-level academic, but also um, exceptional work um, in, in top-level, elite-level football. Um, and what we've done is we've brought all these individuals together to to deliver a, um, a plethora of coaching courses online, really from sports psychologists, sport nutrition, uh, coaching methodology, injury prevention, return to play, business and management. So all different aspects from within the game that's that's required to to work, understand, compete, and develop players for for top level football um, have all been brought together to to impart their knowledge within within various modules and courses within within the organization and just so we understand, is this aimed at coaches who are looking to go sort of a holistic view or is it aimed at coaches who want to improve a specific uh, part of their knowledge or is it aimed at both? Yeah, no, it's absolutely aimed at both. You know, we've got courses that are, are delivered at the at the lower end of the scale in terms of grassroots and, and people that are looking to take the next steps in their coaching pathway, working with younger players, with academy players, uh, grassroots local teams and um, but we also have courses that are currently being taken by elite level coaches around the world so you know the, the, the sort of modern day coach really or the modern day manager um, has a real good understanding now of the game from from all different aspects you know they, they might be a, a manager of a club or a technical coach but they can become a better coach if they have a better understanding of, of psychology and, and a better understanding of football specific nutrition to, to maximize the performance of their players. So every single one of our courses is geared towards anybody really working within the game. So, you know, you could be a physiotherapist that wants to know a little bit more about, you know, the psycholo- psychological interventions used to maximize the rehabilitation process or nutritional aspects that may improve uh, the return to play process. Um, so again, yeah, you know, you could be a doctor, physio, any performance practitioner, coach, uh, manager, um, or just somebody with a, you know, even from a student point of view, that somebody that wants to take their learning capacity to the next level with really applied people that we have working within uh, the courses and delivering the courses. You know, we have some people from some of the top clubs around the world and, and like I said, organizations. So yeah, we really are making a, a real unique learning process for, for anybody that's interested in developing themselves. And again, just to fully understand, these courses are, are all online. There's no need to travel for any sort of practice practical assessment or anything like that no absolutely that that's one of the unique elements of of what we've achieved um as an organization you know um what we've tried to do is ensure that individuals from from anywhere around the world have access to the content are able to learn um through the online education process as a way of ensuring they can get the best possible content from from world leading experts in the game um they can study in their own time when they travel before or after games, uh, whether it's in the home and the comfort of their own home and obviously on a timeline that suits themselves. So again, you know, we're really trying to bring the education to the comfort of their own of their own um, their own lifestyle, really. And if we talk specifically about the the Gasafa diploma in soccer science um, and what is covered within that, can you give us a little bit of insight there? Yeah, absolutely. We're really obviously with the the partnership with Gasafa. It's something that we're really really um, excited to be involved with them for. They 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 really are pushing the 
the coaching development strategy of the game in the in the Southern African region and what we've done um, in accordance with uh, Kusafa is set up the Kusafa Diploma in Football Science and Performance Coaching. Um, and what that does is it is it offers um, individuals uh, an accreditation and an accredited um, diploma under the Kusafa banner um, in football science and coaching, which includes uh, strength and conditioning, um, a foundation certificate in soccer nutrition, a certificate in physical training and soccer methodology, and a foundation level in soccer psychology. So to be honest with you, what it's done is it's it's the amalgamation of, of four specific bespoke courses that are, that are form the diploma. Um, so anybody doing the diploma will be able to generate not only an individual um, certificate or qualification um, for each of the particular courses, but obviously the combination of it will will make up the uh, the diploma in 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 uh, football science and coaching under the Kasafa banner. I know that you you have worked uh, with uh, South African PSL side Amazulu. Um, is this something that you've introduced in other parts of Africa? Um, at the, basically, uh, Josh Joshua Smith, who's the head of performance at Amazulu, is um, very very forward thinking individual, very very innovative in the way that he's pushing football science over there in the African region. And and he got in touch with us um, a few years back um, to organise a, a relationship with Amazulu uh, Football Club, for example. We've since been contacted by many, many um, football associations, um, universities and football clubs within the, within the Southern African region. But um, as a result of that, it makes more sense for us to be really, really uh, working in a really high level partnership with Kasafa at this moment in time. So um, anything that we do within that region um, will be directed generally through Kasafa. And presumably this would be open uh, or this would be useful for male and female coaches? Absolutely. That's a, a, a big fundamental driver for us um, in ISSPF is is the opportunity to do um, coaching courses, again, in, in, in the comfort of their own environment, learning environment. So, yeah, we have content from from women specialists within the games, whether that's physiotherapists, doctors, nutritionists, um, psychologists. So, um, yeah, for our courses are certainly available for for both. And and currently at this moment in time, we have um, you know hundreds and thousands of coaches around the world, um, both male and female, working in the elite level at both female and, and male games, as well as the academy levels in in female and male uh, football so yeah we're, we're certainly very inclusive in the way that we want to work and and is there any uh level that a coach has to have reached before you recommend they take these coaches i mean can, can you come you know fresh off the grassroots field and, and straight into this yeah absolutely we the way that we've got our course is set up uh, in certain levels level one two and three and we try and we try and align that with the with the learning process as well in terms of Again, if you if it's a grassroots level coaching course, we have those available. Um, but in terms of the diploma and where we are, it, it's probably for slightly more serious people in terms of the coaching process and, and those individuals that want to take their learning to the next level. So, um, yeah, we we certainly cater for different levels, and um, we have a couple of um, lower level courses to sort of show the content and 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 how we offer that in in different levels. But obviously, we have we have um, courses that are accessible for any individual really um, in terms of where they want to move their their coaching process forwards. And you mentioned uh, previously about having uh, experienced professionals around the world uh, who help you put together this material. Can you just maybe give a few examples just to give people some context? Yeah, for example, we have we have the, you know, one of the the old the, the doctors and surgeons in in Boca Juniors in in Argentina. We have we have sports psychologists and nutritionists that are working in uh, in England Premier League clubs. We have people that are working in Liga in France, for example. We have doctors, physios, and specialists working within the MLS over in the United States. Uh, we have we have academy coaches and, and goalkeeper coaches that are working in Champions League level clubs in in Europe. But we also have people that are based within Asia um, and have really really high level skill set in terms of 
uh, whether it be nutrition, whether it be GPS monitoring, uh, training, training load management. So again, you know, we really have gone out and, and, and sourced some of the, some of the best people in, in the game. And if we just talk generally about coaching and, and shifts and, and trends and whatnot, have we seen a big shift in trends? I, I, you know, I'm thinking for a coach maybe who qualified some time ago, but wants to top up their knowledge. Yeah, absolutely. Great, great, uh, great question. I think as you'll see now, you know, the modern coach or the modern game especially has has many different facets to it. Um, like I spoke about there in terms of understanding, you know, strength and conditioning and where that sits within the coaching process. You know, not only do on-field coaches now have a good understanding Understanding knowledge of you know strength and conditioning and how we can maximise our fitness, but also looking at the methodology that we employ to to develop players, how we maximise youth development, for example, how we integrate the nutritional and psychological side of the game. So, um, you know, the modern coach is certainly looking and demanding more and more um, all the time in terms of self development. So, you know, it's exactly what we're trying to achieve within ISSPF. And, and if there is a, a coach out there listening to this who, who wants to get involved and wants to learn more about these courses, uh, courses how can they go about that? Yeah, well, especially within the, the, the Kasafa region, um, the, the link to the, to the content is, is, is through the Kasafa website. Um, and if they want to, for more information and other inquiries on the diploma specifically, then they can send an email to learn at kasafa.com. Um, and we'll be able to pick up all the emails there, as well as visiting our site directly on ISSPF.com. Um, so again, it just depends on where they are as an individual, if they want to go through the CASAFA accredited uh, diploma process, or they want to touch base with some individual courses to begin with. Um, but again, f- for us, our our contact and content um, in the African region at this moment in time is, is directly through CASAFA. Zambia triumphed 1 0 in the final of the Hollywood Bets Cassava Cup this past Sunday, winning a record seventh title in the regional showpiece competition. They were made to work hard for it, as coach Moses Ciccioni explains. It's a good feeling, uh, but I must be honest, uh, we, we started the game first of all uh, on a slow pace. The guys uh, looked to be tired and uh, we didn't find our game the way we played against South Africa. And uh, second half, I tried to to encourage the team and uh, we looked a bit better. And also uh, um, when I we made uh, some uh, some changes, we brought in the, uh, uh, the guys uh, who looked to be more fresh and uh, the team looked to be more stabilized on the ball. It was, um, I mean, I, 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 I understand uh, the boys I mean, playing uh, a game whereby you, didn't, you only rested one, uh, one day, so I understand that uh, a lot of uh, players were tired today. It was actually a good feeling. Uh, I didn't even know that, well, this is the seventh time. I mean, um, a big compliment uh, to, to the guys. Um, like I said, despite uh, the game was not uh, more special, the first half was not our, our day, but what matters most is uh, we managed to carry the day and uh, uh, we defended the trophy. Of course, uh, we used the uh, Kosovo as a development uh, 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 tournament uh, to give also, you know, the, the young, uh, some young players uh, the exposure that they need. So it is important, uh, you know, the guys uh, had to, to participate in this tournament. So it gives also, you know, a chance uh, the head coach here was here, is here, I mean. So also, you know, to try and see where we can be start fusing in, you know, to the main team, which players we did well and, uh, of course, you know, to prepare for chat. It's actually a good feeling, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I, I would say a dream has come true and uh, I won it, I think, which year was that, 1998 as a, as a player. Now I'm here. Uh, last year we won, I was an assistant coach. Today, yeah, it's a good, great feeling. And... Um, um, going forward, we, the most important thing, like I said, it's uh, a, a teamwork. You know, I was not alone. I had my technical bench, so we worked well. That's the most important thing. Yeah, of course, uh, because uh, uh, this is the platform that uh, actually we we we, we meant. So we cannot only depend uh, on um, the professional uh, players that we have. If uh, at all maybe something happens, so these are the guys that uh, will try and uh, 
we are trying to build to give them uh, the exposure that uh, they need. Yes, um, we, like I said um, the day before yesterday, we didn't start well uh, the tournament. But one thing you have to understand: this is the team, the team that we just assembled a week, and we never had uh, you know like friendlies to prepare. So the first game was like. The, the friendly game we had, so you have to understand that the, most of these guys they haven't played together, so they need to find themselves first. Yeah, this is what we, we expect from uh, the players uh, because they have been troubling him, not only, you know, uh, 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 that he didn't score, but, uh, you know, he has been showing a lot of uh, good work during the training, and uh, this morning when I, I, I spoke to him, uh, he promised me, he said, Coach, today I'm going to score a goal for you. So uh, I got the, 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 the advice that I, I, I gave him and I'm happy for him. Lesotho appeared in their first Kasafa Cup final since 2000 and although they were on the losing side, there were plenty of positives from the tournament for coach Leslie Nazi. No, thank you so much. Uh, firstly, I would like to congratulate the Zambian national team for being uh, victorious today. And um, going into my team, I think uh, there is a lot of very good attributes that we can take out of this match. Uh, I think we are unfortunate that we did not uh, score uh, because uh, I believe we, we, we were dominating uh, the game. You know, we're being creative, trying to have that opportunity to get a, a goal. But of course, we are playing against one of the best teams. So they made life very difficult. But at the end of the day, I think we, 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 the boys showed character. They showed resilience, even under pressure. They showed that, you know, they can uh, play uh, according to the plan that we had. So I'm very proud of uh, the way they conducted themselves. No, truly, uh, we just have to um, take, like I said earlier, take all the good attributes out of this tournament, you know, motivate the players. Uh, I think this has been a very good stepping stone into the World Cup qualifiers. So we can only go and uh, we should get more uh, matches internationally so that the boys can also understand each other more. And uh, there's, there's still a lot of room for improvement. There are certain areas that we really have to uh, build up on. And, uh, I think this was one of the was a very good, uh, good tournament uh, for us you know, in terms of going forward. Yes, uh, we 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 hope that uh, it will happen that way that we will have players probably uh, getting opportunity to play in some of the teams in South Africa, uh, which will really benefit the national team. Firstly, I would say is the fitness level. Uh, the fitness level and also uh, the manner in which we play uh, and I think the other thing is it's the, the, the rotation we made you know it also helped us to rest some players so that the semi-finals we can have fresh legs into the, the, the game and uh, I think also the, 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 the self-belief that the players had because uh, we urged them to they should just have that self-belief uh, play, uh, you know, with uh, all the confidence, you know, take the game to the, the opponents and uh, they should not fear anything, uh, play to their to their level best, you know. So I think uh, the, the, the selection we had made after joining the team, we selected players that we knew that where we play to their strength, you know, so it really helped, you know, in this tournament. That's it for another episode of the Kasafa Show. We will be back with another one in a fortnight's time. Don't forget you can listen to more of our podcasts on our YouTube channel, Spotify, and iTunes. You can also get the latest news via our website at www.kasafa.com and on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Mm-hmm.